Hello, my name is Kenya, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make a craft lanyard box stitch. If you don't know what a lanyard is, a lanyard is a type of, what you could say, string that is a certain shape and also a certain size. And you could fold and craft the string into something amazing. For example, this. This, I believe, is a circle lanyard stitch. This is called a double barrel stitch. And this is called a box stitch, which I'm going to be teaching you today. When someone says lanyard, they usually think of something like this. This is called a lanyard as well, but there are different types of lanyards when people say it. For example, there's this type of lanyard that's common for holding things like maybe a key card or just cards for you. But this is not the type of lanyard I'm talking about. I'm talking about these kinds. So let me put these aside and talk about the box stitch, which are these, which we're going to be making today. So I have my string here. They don't have to be that long. They could be at least 12 inches. For example, these are more than 12 inches. At least 12 inches and more. But if you have a smaller string, you cannot really do anything with it because you need a lot of string to make a craft. So first what you're going to do is take your two strings and fold them in half. First fold one so you don't get confused with both of them. Make sure it's perfect in half. And you bend the tip. If it's hard for you to bend it, you could use something to help you bend it. For example, I am going to use this for the, my keys. I'm just going to press. And you can see it's bended. We do this so we can know where the middle is, so we don't have to keep guessing, saying it's the middle and we can mess up. After that one is bended, do the same thing with the other one. Make sure it's even as well, because if you don't do it correctly, you could run out of string on one side. Okay. Both of them are bended now in half. And we do this because we're going to start in the middle. So first what we're going to do is we're going to put one string over the other. It doesn't really matter which one. We just have to put one string over the other, like this. Make sure they're in the middle. They meet in the middle. Then what you do is you take the one that's on the bottom, fold it once this way and hold it with your hand, and fold it the other way like this. So you've got this. Then what you're supposed to do is fold the next string, which is going to be my white, and the other half of the white oh, as well. It should look like this and then you tighten it. If yours does not tighten like this, you probably did it the wrong way, but it's okay because you could just rewatch the step that I put. This happens to me a lot when I make my lanyards and I do it the wrong way. Don't think it's just you if you do it wrong. 
it's a common mistake that people make when they make it. So after you've got it tied like this, you could see that it looks like a little checkered pattern. Like this. It's maybe hard to tell because of my colors, but you can see it's like a checkered pattern. And when you flip it over, you see that there is this clear notch. You see this notch right here? And that's actually where we are going to put our hook for our lanyard. Let me just find one for you so I could show you how it would look like. I actually ran out. <laughs> it's okay, but I could show you with a paper clip. Okay. E as you can see, I could hook under it. And if I had more hooks, I could show you that when your liner is done, it'll hang on it, hang on this like it does with with this. See this hook? I ran out of these, but it'll hang on that like this. You actually don't need it in while you make the lanyard. So. Now after, make sure that what you're going to hang it on is down make sure you don't flip it and start your lanyard because you won't be able to hang it you'll just get the checkered square so make sure the hook to put it on which is this is facing down the checker pattern is on top and the hook is on the bottom now you could start making your lanyard first what you're going to do is do similar what we did when we started is we're gonna flip one string and the other string like this and also it doesn't matter like you don't have to use the same pattern over and over I could also do this way or the other way I just want to start with this one so you can just see it better So once you have them like this, crossed, or like flipped, then you put this under. You see how it's closed over here? So don't put it over on this side, because that'll be a different stitch. Don't do it like this. Make sure it goes on this side. and pull. If you don't know how to do it, I'll do it again. Flip, flip, make sure it's going straight, don't flip it or like twist it or cross it. Just flip, flip, loop, straight, loop, straight. And you tighten it. Make sure it's tightened tight so it won't be loose. It also makes it look nicer and more firm. See? That's how you start it. You see how it's building up? That's what we are supposed to do. So just do this pattern over and over again until it builds up. And also do it until the length, like do it until the length that you want it to be. I'll come back with the finished product.